it's warming up for the time being anyway here in central Iowa. It's 65 right now, 10 o'clock in the morning, 1030. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be darn near 80 degrees today. Clear blue sky, wind's blowing a bit, but I'll take it. Sure beats negative 50, that's for sure. Got the old pressure washer out yesterday, had to wash that Tahoe off. My son borrowed that transmission went out on his truck and it uh, and it was covered with cow crap got the oil changed in that gave it a quick bath too gave the truck a bath and as you saw in my last video I got this quarter panel on and since then I got the other quarter panel on and this one didn't go on as easy as the other side it fought me a little bit and these body lines don't line up and I just don't think there's really much I can do about it. Aftermarket panel and it's just the way it is. But both are on and uh, we can keep moving forward on the old Bronco here. But it won't be today. Today, we're getting in the field today putting on anhydrous. I gotta haul some tanks, I think. The elevator, they say they can haul them for us but uh, I, I don't think they're gonna be able to keep up. So we'll see, I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be gonna be hauling some tanks today. Well, I am, uh, I'm, I'm hauling tanks it looks like. Got one of my dad's trucks. Right now I just hauled a tank out to, I don't think you can probably see it, it's farm on up the road here. There's a green bin up way, there's a green bin up there, that's where it is. Anyway, I just hauled a tank there now I'm going over to a couple farms across the river. A little ways away, need to see how wet they are. just about there and I'm sure it seemed a lot quicker for you than it did me I'm not even sure how many miles it is over here it just seems like an awful long drive especially in a tractor and here we are well, doesn't look too bad from here anyway I'm gonna drive on up there Take a pat. It looks pretty wet out in there, though. Well, I didn't record anything when I got out of the truck. It's just too darn windy out. But that field, that field was pretty wet. So we'll head down this road to this other farm. Don't know if I'm going to be able to tell or not from the road, really, how wet it is. But we'll go take a look at it since we're here anyway. Turned around up here, so I'm heading back the way I came from. But yeah, this field, uh, she looks a little damp out there too. Just big wet areas kind of scattered all over. I don't know how well you can see them. There's one right now, it's up there. There's one over the top of this hill, I think. Yeah. Won't be coming over here today. Now I need to go pick up a tank, take it into town, grab a tank, take it back out to another, another farm.
easy out, but found my tank. Maybe a little hard to do one-handed. And away we go. Now to get out of here, get this tank into town, pick up another tank, and take it to a different farm. Well, I went and picked up a full tank. Well, not really. I had to sit there and wait while they refilled that tank. And when you're sitting there waiting for them to fill that tank, it seems like a long, long time. They ran out of tanks. They had some smaller tanks, but we don't want those. A lot of people putting on anhydrous today. And the current temperature is 81 degrees. 81. 81. It's been a long time since we've seen 81 degrees. I keep forgetting to record. Seems like the first day in the field in the spring and the fall. Recording just doesn't go real well. Had to stop off at home here to uh, use the facilities. Back into town. I tell you, this road going out here to where they keep the tanks is not in the best shape. I don't know how good the camera's picking it up, but rather rather rutted just it's bad their driveway is a little rutted up too I don't know why they couldn't blade that down a little bit drag something on it it's full of holes and just a bumpy mess anyway pull in here and get another tank head back out to the field I'm not even sure where another empty one is at the moment but we'll figure it out. Well, my aunt, she's hauling tanks too. This road is, this road is bad. And, and they wouldn't let her take her tank back out that she brought in. We have 11 tanks scattered around and uh, apparently other people want them also. So we'll see if I can get to keep this tank or if I'm gonna leave empty and just go out and pull another empty one in. Well, that's my aunt right up there in front of me, and they made it made us both and they made us both drop our tanks. We couldn't take them back. Go figure. Well, we're at it again. I didn't record anymore yesterday. Just finishing up this field. So it was in the low 80s yesterday afternoon and these fields over here did dry out enough that we could, we could get in hydrous on them. And we're getting pretty darn close to being done. So I gotta go pick up this tank. Then there's gonna be two, maybe three more in that other field I went and looked at yesterday. But we've about got this wrapped up. And that's a good thing because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Well, windshield's a little dirty, ran into a little bit of rain today. Didn't do a whole lot of recording. Taking the last tank in right now. We are done. And that's pretty much gonna do it. See you back at the shop. Well, I got home a little while ago. Put the uh, anhydrous applicator away and helped my dad get the field cultivator out. Well, helped him get that out and put the uh, anhydrous applicator away. Got all the tanks returned. They ran out of anhydrous up there, complaining that we had too many tanks, yet they have no anhydrous to fill them. So that's done. All of the anhydrous is now on, and now it's going to rain. It's supposed to rain, to, I think, tomorrow and the next day, and possibly the next day. So I'm going to have a little bit of time here. Might get to doing something more on the Bronco for the next video. Not sure how this video is going to turn out. It seems like, like I said earlier, that first video of the spring and the fall out in the field just uh, I just don't 
know what to record right off the top of my head, especially hauling tanks. Barely saw a tractor or anything in this video. I barely saw them myself. It seemed like I was always going to a field that they had just left to get empty tanks and then I'd take new tanks, well, to where they are. But anyway, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.